Hi there, and this is the very short introduction. Today we will discuss the Cosmos blockchain and we will try to figure it out if this project is cool, will it grow in the next bull market, and is it worth investing in? So let's go! Interoperability problem is one of the main issues of a blockchain. Blockchains operate on their own network and they can only interact with each other using blockchain bridges. But these bridges are very unsafe and expensive and also blockchains have these bridge problems and hackers know about it. And exactly bridges become the main targets of hacking. Therefore, projects that eager to solve interoperability problems began to emerge. At the moment, there are several projects that have partly solved this problem. For example, this is a Polkadot. But everything is very slow and difficult on Polkadot to be developed. And now we are going to analyze one of the best blockchains that solves the interoperability problem. This is Cosmos. Well, Cosmos aims to make it easier for the blockchains to interact effectively with each other. It also has the nickname Internet of Blockchains. And any projects can be built on the basis of other projects. So, let's discuss this in more details. For example, as for Arbitrum or Optimism, they are layer 2 blockchains that are built on Ethereum. The Cosmos is an ecosystem and it is a layer 0, and it means that layer 1 blockchain, such as Ethereum, can be built on it. Cosmos is a rapidly expanding ecosystem of independent interconnected blockchains, built using developer-friendly application components and connected with groundbreaking I. BC interblockchain communication protocol. But also we should discuss Cosmos Hub. This is the blockchain launched as a part of the Cosmos network ecosystem and it is the centerpiece of the ecosystem. Other blockchains can be connected to the hub, they are zones, for example Osmosis, Juna and others. These zones are connected to each other through the hub. This connection enables to make transactions quickly and with a low fee. Now let's consider the principles of basic elements of the Cosmos ecosystem. For example, the consensus mechanism Tendermint. This is the core of the Cosmos and the blockchain applications are built on its basis. It consists of such components as consensus, level consensus, it sets the rules for the operation of the blockchain, next networking its network layer, handles transactions within the network and the processing speed in Cosmos is very high, it's 10,000 per second for comparison Ethereum, it's 15 per second, an application, a network-based and consensus-based application. In fact, such a structure is not innovative because many developers can already take the consensus mechanism and the network of other blockchain as a basis and build their own applications based on them. For example, step N, that is the base on the network and consensus of the Solana or other the NFT collections created on the basis of functioning blockchains, for example, its decodes on Solana. However, Cosmos has other functional advantages, and here we will discuss the Cosmos SDK. The Cosmos SDK is a generalized framework that simplifies the process of building secure blockchain applications on the top of Tendermint BFT. Developers can create blockchain applications in any coding language. They can also use ready-made models and import them in into their applications. At the same time, they will not need to encode every line of code from scratch. Now let's talk about the IBC, and you remember this is the Interblockchain Communication Protocol. IBC is one of the models of the Cosmos SDK, which allows the blockchain to transfer tokens and other data to each other. Due to these, blockchains with different applications and set of validators become interoperable. Let's take, for example, one of the projects, Agoric. Agoric makes it possible to use JavaScript, but before the advent of IBC, it was impossible to exchange coins, make any swaps on and Moses. This means that it was impossible to interact with it 
other blocks, when IBC appeared, it became possible and the Igaric blockchain became compatible with the SDK and it can exchange coins with other blockchains. For example, with the help of Osmosis, you can change Juna to Igaric or Igaric to Juna or Igaric to Adam or Adam to Juna and so on. Now we'll talk about the Cosmos Hub tokenomics in more detail. As I have already mentioned, there are different blockchains in IBC, there are Juno, Osmosis and Atom. Atom has a cryptocurrency, Atom, and the Atom token is traded on all major exchanges. It is very valuable because it has a large set of functionality for the ecosystem of Cosmos. And also thanks to Atom, we can launch our own nodes by staking coins, we can vote in Cosmos Hub governance decisions, we can pay for transactions inside the Cosmos Hub user using these atom coins. At the moment there are 286.4 million atoms of circulating supply and also the atom doesn't have a limited supply. If you compare it with other coins, for example Bitcoin, you remember that it is limited to 21 million ones, atom doesn't have this. The atom also collected about 200 million investments. As I have already said, the atom has a rich functionality and it is very important for the ecosystem of of their cosmos. However, the cosmos ecosystem is not very large, but it will become more valuable with the advent of new projects. Now we will talk about the one innovation in Atom 2.0 compared to Atom 1.0. This is the interchain security. We're gonna discuss proof of work and proof of stake. They are algorithms, also known as consensus mechanisms, that help blockchains synchronize data and remain secure. In proof of work, verifying cryptocurrency transactions is done through mining, and it requires a significant amount of energy to verify the transactions. In POS, participants are called validators. They don't need to use powerful hardware to compete for the chance to validate a block. Instead, they need to stake the native crypto currency of the blockchain. The network then selects a winner based on the amount of crypto staked, who will be rewarded a proportion of the transaction fees from the block they validate. The more coins staked, the higher the chance to be chosen as a validator. Interchain security is the liquid staking. By the way, Atom validators launched the second node and worked to ensure the security of the new network. And respectively, the value of the Atom as a coin increases very much because you can receive allocations and grants from new projects because you stake Cosmos. The more projects emerge, the greater the value of Cosmos is. If you talk about the current situation, the Cosmos is on the 26th place in the capitalization rating of the entire cryptocurrency industry. The project is very promising, and it is also possible that Cosmos will be the next trend. It is a very convenient, adaptive, and secure solution for the new blockchains. It is quite quite simple in its development and in its connection. These factors are a reason for new blockchains to choose Cosmos as the start to develop their own blockchain. Let's now look at the market situation using the chart and analyze the Atom coin. The ATH point of Cosmos costs $24.50. The lowest price was recorded on March 13, 2020, which was $1.13, and I think that Cosmos must be higher on the list because the functionality of of Cosmos Hub is very rich and many blockchains that are in the top 10 of the list do not provide such opportunities and such means for development as Cosmos does. And I'm sure that this coin will be the trend in the next cycle and if we can see that the entry point and remember that the project is now in 26th place, I suppose that this is the reason for investing in this coin. Now the Cosmos is traded at $880 per one atom. If we look into the Bitcoin chart, then it is a great entry point. However, it is worth considering the market situation and as we have already discussed that in the last video, Bitcoin reached 85% level in each of its cycles. And if Bitcoin moves to 85% level from the ATH point in the current cycle, then the price of Cosmos will be the best to enter. However, if I consider investing in Cosmos regardless of Bitcoin, then right now is an excellent entry point and we can buy a coin that in terms of functionality should definitely be in the top 10 we can enter it at a price that corresponds to 26th place in the rating of cryptocurrencies by capitalization. 
Cosmos provides a huge functionality, however, at the moment, there are not so many applications on Cosmos, and that is the limiting factor for the growth of this price. The fact is that, at the moment, the functionality of the blockchains of the last generation is quite enough for developers, for example, Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, and others. And there's no need for them to look into Cosmos, but over time, the crypto industry will develop even more, and the complexity of decentralized applications will only increase and it means that functionality of the old blockchains will not be enough. So in general, the Cosmos will solve many problems that will arise for decentralized applications and if it happens, Cosmos can become an even more promising coin. With the advent of new projects, the number of Aiden coins that will be needed for staking to ensure the security of the new blockchains will only grow. Thus, there will be fewer coins and their price will grow because Aiden coins will be more and more in demand. So this video is not the investment recommendation because everything is up to you, but you can write in the comments what do you think about the Cosmos project and is it interesting for you and will you invest in it? Share all your thoughts with us, it's gonna be a very cool interaction with me and with other subscribers. So like this video and subscribe to the channel and write in the comments your questions and your ideas for the next topics, what you would like to discuss on this YouTube channel. So write everything. See ya!